Hello, everybody! Hey! Yeah, it's still a thing. It's still a thing. Welcome to uh, Valiant Victories with Benny Decker. Yeah! Oof! 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 I, oof I've been busy. Uh, uh, time for the excuses. Uh, uh, skip ahead 30 seconds to avoid all excuses. Uh, no, just a lot has been going on. The wife uh, uh, was out in Puerto Rico for, what, 11 days, 12 days? I don't know. So, ooh, I was thinking, like, oh, well, she's away. Oh, well, I'll crank out a bunch of videos. But uh, it turns out when you got, uh, you got five kids, they keep you kind of busy, too. But uh, I've been wanting to get uh, some more uh, EXO uh, stuff going. Uh, I do need to get that going, too, if there's still interest. I know I'm still interested. Uh, but yeah, but uh, I figured uh, I don't want to leave you hanging with Book of Shadows here. We got issue four uh, out, so let's uh, dig on in. So here we go. Here is the uh, pre-order edition cover. And let's read some credits and get started here. So if I can read through there. Uh, writer Colin Bond, artist Vincente Sapuentes, uh, colorist Nick Polarity, letter Dave Sharp. And a few other folks there. So here we go. Yeah, here's the uh, cover. So uh, last we uh, stopped in, uh, Exarch Fane was uh, doing pretty good. <laughs> uh, things were looking good for him and not so good for uh, Punk Mambo and Shadow Man. They had some vampiric stuff going on. And Persephone was uh, kind of the only one left uh, on the team fighting there. And we're going to dig right into that. So then... Uh, so, Shadow Man starts out, he's the uh, narrator there, and, uh, you know, uh, all this stuff. And uh, this was uh, interesting. So, the uh, Loa was able to kind of fight fight off the vampiric stuff and get uh, Jack back into a regular Shadow Man uh, 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 stuff. I don't know. Oh, it's been a while. Oh, my words. Anyway. <laughs> So then, it doesn't matter, Exarch Fane, he's still taking over there, he's got his little thing, and choking him out, and, uh, yeah, lots of, lots of, uh, lots of action in this one, lots of fighting, they're fighting back and forth, and, uh, Exarch Fane, he's still got Punk Mambo on, uh, his side, I thought this was odd, so, like, he's chatting there, and then it says, like, gobble, gobble, like, was she... Uh, either doing a turkey impression or uh, eating somebody. I don't, I'm not sure. Uh, so Axar Fane, he's talking to Persephone, saying like, oh, yes, why don't you join me? Ha, ha, ha. Like, you could be a vessel, too. Wouldn't that be great? I'm making all these new pages, and uh, you could do. You could be doing that, too. And uh, uh, So then we're cutting back to uh, the other side of the veil with uh, Dr. Mirage and Gilad. And uh, they are surrounded by all the uh, souls, uh, the people that Axarch Fane was using to write the new pages of the Book of Shadows. And they are pretty upset, as I would be too. Uh, so they, uh, the souls are kind of explaining, ah, yeah, that, uh, they are not satisfied until Axarch Fane is taken down. And uh, Dr. Marsh is like, hey, we can work together. So she... She, she absorbs those souls, uh, turning her into the uh, uh, Book of Light. There you go, trademark. Uh, so there we go. So, then we're cutting back to Exarch Fane trying to uh, persuade Persephone to join his side. But she's able to fight it. And she's fighting back there. And Shadow Man's in there. Yeah, lots of action. They're fighting back and forth, fighting back and forth. And Punk Mambo, uh, similar to Shadow Man, how he was, his low was able to <laughs> fight the vampiric stuff. Uh, Punk Mambo is doing the same thing with a little help from Persephone. And here we go. So then, just in time to help save the day, we've got Dr. Mirage and Glad back from Beyond the Veil. So uh, uh, Dr. Mirage is... Talking back and forth with Exarch Fane, explaining how they're going to kick their tail there. There's a lot more action, a lot more fighting. Uh, yeah, it was it was good because it, it wasn't just um, one side completely beating the other side. It was it was a you know fair fight on both sides, really. But oh, we'll take a quick break to uh, look at the covers. Uh, yeah, really good covers. Um, 
I don't know. I'd, I'd probably the uh, A cover, my favorite. B cover, second favorite. Pre-order, third. And uh, the cover C, I like. I like them. But I rather, I prefer the ones with the characters on them. But uh, yeah, pretty pretty even, uh, even on all those. Um, I usually look at the pre-order stuff at the end. Uh, but if somebody was to take a break in the middle, uh, it does kind of spoil the ending in there. But uh, I don't know. It's probably a matter of they put they put the extra goodies in there just for a, it, it probably makes sense from a logistical standpoint, not necessarily from the standpoint of where you're going to be reading it. Because I don't think anyone's, oh, let me read along and oh, let me take a detour and look at all this stuff. So probably not a big deal. So good thing I wasted your time talking about it. But then here we go. More action here. Uh, yeah, they, uh, our heroes seem to be doing a little bit better. Oh, until right there. Oh, Dr. Mirage is taking some damage there. And Exarch Fame. Yeah. So, uh, well, I was, I'll, I'll talk about it a little bit now, I guess. So with, with the Book of Shadows, so it starts out, it's a book. And then it uh, turns into like a skeleton guy, and then like then it can turn into an axe, and then it's like it, it it's just kind of whatever whatever you whatever you need it to be. That's what it's gonna be. I don't know. I think I would have preferred if it was just a book, or like if it was gonna go from the book to the skeleton thing, like then stay like that. Or but it just seems to kind of bounce back and forth, and I don't know. But it's all all kinds of mystical stuff anyway so i what am i getting what am i complaining about so there we go they're fighting along dr mirage not doing too good after that hit there and galad is going one-on-one -on -one with exarch fane and this part was interesting so our exarch fane he's uh you know oh yeah uh, you know you don't want to have a go out like this right don't you want to fight me at my at my best like if, if you wouldn't fight me, you know, you don't want to defeat me at my worst if you wouldn't fight me at my best kind of thing. Glad's like, yeah, you, you're all talk. And you won't be talking anymore. There you go. And cut his head off. Uh, so as soon as that happened, too, I was like, oh, no, because there's the, you know, oh, dead is dead. So oh, he's dead. Um uh, we need we need good villains and i really like Exarch fame so it, he is sort of that like dead sidey kind of villain where you could conceivably have him come back somehow so just because he had his head cut off i i don't like the idea of oh he's dead oh but he's coming back oh but he's dead but he's coming back but he they it could be a character where he could come back right because i really liked him and i don't think he should go out like this already but I don't know. We'll talk more about that at the very end. So there we go. So Galad, he's got the Book of Shadows, which is now an axe. And he's giving it to Shadow Man. And Shadow Man is... Oh, I can feel it. Oh, it's, it's doing all kinds of stuff right in my hands. But we're going to get it over to the Abettors. So we're cutting to them. And now it's back into its book form. And there we go. And, uh, yeah, we're uh, walking out there with Shadow Man Persephone, walking out into the moonlight there, thinking about all the heroes there that'll be ready to help next time, if there is a next time. Uh, ooh, I hope there's a next time. And uh, Persephone's noticing that, ooh, Alyssa, ooh, I think she likes you. It's like, uh, whatever. Uh, so there was a nice little character moment there at the end. So, yeah, there we go. That did wrap up Book of Shadows. Yeah, so what did I think? Um, obviously, you know, an elephant in the room. I think everybody would have enjoyed it if it was, you know, one, two, three, four, all came out together instead of that little break in between. Um, uh, but, uh, if you remove that part, um, just taking the issue on its own, yeah, a lot of action. Uh, the art was very good. Um, it wasn't just a matter of, you know, oh, they're, the heroes are up against the ropes the whole time, and then, uh, you know, Galen comes back and, uh, destroy it. You know, there was some fighting back and forth. The, the heroes would be doing, they would be taking some damage, and then uh, they'd be fighting back a bit, and it was kind of going back and forth like it could have gone either way, um, until they all got back together, and uh, and even though when Dr. Mraz showed up, you figured, you know, okay, she's going to be all super powered up, and she's just going to, and then he's dead, but no, like, even with the help of the extra souls there, Dr. Mirage didn't 
uh, it wasn't like super powered up enough to completely take out Exarch Bane. It really did take everybody working together. Uh, so that was good. Uh, yeah, um, uh, Exarch Fane, why'd you, really, is he really gone? So I don't know. There, uh, there is the, yes, I want dead to be dead, and I want it to be, if, if a character is dead, that their death is, meant something, um, that it's, you know, not just, oh, ah, we're gonna bring him back, because we need somebody back again. Like, I don't know. But, I don't know. He's he's a mystical kind of villain, so maybe he can come back. I don't know. Uh, but yeah, I really liked Exarch Bane. <laughs> he was he was a lot of talk, and uh, even at the end, like that, like trying to weasel his way out of uh, <laughs> getting killed, uh, which uh, didn't work. But uh, yeah, the team uh, really worked well together, and uh, it took. Everybody doing all that they could to defeat Exarch Bane, and uh, yeah, it was it was satisfying. Lots of action and good art, good story. I think yeah, just the uh, the whole thing with the book kind of oh, it's a book, it's a this, it's a that, it's over here, it's over there, it's doing anything it needs to do. Oh, there's new pages, there's that page. There was a lot of stuff <laughs> introduced, but it it didn't feel like it didn't feel cheating. It was just, you know, eh, I would have preferred it like, okay, it's one thing, but not, you know, oh, it's this, and then it's that, and then it's that over here, and then it's, oh, and then it's back to a book. Like, I don't know. But uh, overall, I did like it. I liked it. I, uh, yeah, lots of good action. I, the characters worked together. Uh, it really clipped along. So, yes, very good. Um, yeah, the team was sort of split up at the end, but uh, they'll work, hopefully they'll work together again soon. There we go. Yes, I would say that is a victory. Very satisfying conclusion. And, ooh, ooh look at that. Yeah, so, yeah, don't forget to pick up on the free comic book day. Yeah, got into that a little bit about uh, the Shadow Man stuff there. Um, I have an almost complete run of the classic Shadow Man, uh, which I haven't gotten into yet. Ooh, but, uh, ooh, I'm almost ready. I think I need, like, one, three, and, like, four. 40 something? I can't remember. I have my manifest of all the issues that I still need. I think I need... Oh, no, I needed a few more. I think, like, 37. I don't know. I need a, a handful of issues. But uh, I got some I got some folks looking into it for me. <laughs> so there we go. So that's exciting. Also, uh, uh, in the back, was the preview for AXO. Yeah, so uh, some of the other books, I was like, oh, I don't know, there's no previews. Oh, should there be some previews? Uh, but there are previews in here, so that's good. Uh, my initial thoughts, not to be terribly negative, uh, the art, it does, it looks beautiful. However, my personal taste, it, you know, I would rather have it look like somebody sat down with a pencil and drew it rather than, like, I'm not an expert. I'm assuming that this is all digital stuff and like digital coloring, digital, and it's probably all digital now and I can't even tell, but uh, uh, it's not my favorite. However, I think once I get into it, uh, I will enjoy it. It's just one of those things I got to get my brain like, okay, no, oh, it's a different, it's di just because it's different doesn't mean it's bad. So <laughs> I think I just need to get ready to, uh, uh, to read it. But it does, just like looking at it, ooh, ooh, looks beautiful. So there we go. Um, also, just from a story perspective, it seems vastly different from uh, 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 Dennis Hallam's run, which, ooh, it was not my favorite. Uh, <laughs> not my favorite. Uh, so this seems like it is a, a big departure from that, introducing some new characters, some new cleavage. Uh, ooh, ooh. Uh, <laughs> but uh, anyway... So, yeah, back out into space. Um, so, yeah, that's great. I'm definitely looking forward to that. I think by the time you're watching this, if you have not pre-ordered by now for issue one, you are out of luck. But make sure you pre-order the rest. So there we go. Uh, yeah, but otherwise, yeah, very, uh, very good issue. It'll be good to uh, switch things up and get into something a little bit different for next month with Exo Manowar Unconquered. So make sure you get that issue. Uh, <laughs> I'll see if I can get to some more classic Exo Manowar uh, synergy. Yeah, we'll tie it all together. It'd be great. 
Uh, but yeah, otherwise, uh, stay valiant, and I'll talk to you later. Bye, everybody!